Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imani and we're gonna go ahead and get into this look because I know people hate those drawn out intros anyway and I do too so that's just that. I already prepped and primed my face um, off camera and as you can see I drew my brows but I just stated from the thumbnail that we are doing a full face only using concealer and I wanted to try this because I just felt like it was gonna be really really fun. Don't mind my Christmas shirt in the middle of June. Yeah, y'all know what it is. Um, I'm actually chilling in my pajamas and I just felt like doing this because I just felt like it would be fun. But um, I'm going to be using a lot of the LA Girl Pro concealers and then the Elf concealer. And then you guys will see what I'm going to be using. But like I said, anyway, I did my brows off camera. So what I'm going to do now is because I'm not going to do any eyeshadow for this look. I think what I want to do is go ahead and find my perfect shade. So I'm going to use Fawn. So Fawn isn't bad, but it is a little dark. Yeah, it is a little dark, so I'm gonna mix it with another lighter shade of concealer. So what I just did was mix Fawn and these Elf um, Camo Concealer. This one is in the shade Warm, well, Medium Warm. I'm gonna mix that and see if I can get my exact shade from here. Y'all know I'm all for making sure my complexion is right, so I don't play that. I don't know, they're both giving me like my perfect mix. I told you I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna get it together first. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this uh, warm medium or the e.l.f. concealer, y'all. I feel like with May, because I was dropping so much content, you know, I needed to take a small break in between, but I'm back now. I'm gonna leave you guys there because I'm not the one that, actually no I'm not, because if he dries up, I'm gonna be mad. But like I was saying, I had to take a small break, but I'm back now and I just wanted to go ahead and, I like that one better, and push some more content out for you guys however though as often as i upload them will not be the same i will be um sure not yet um i won't be doing three videos every week it'll be one video every week and more than likely it'll be every monday at one so that's the new schedule Okay, so now that I have my brows basically done, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put all this stuff all over my face. I know, don't cringe at me guys. I know it's gonna look crazy, but just bear with me. Y'all see my videos, y'all know I'm gonna pull a look together regardless. I'm just scared because this is concealer. It's full coverage, so I probably don't need that much. So I'm actually gonna chill out now with applying it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna start blending that in. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm already scared. Why did I do this to myself? But like I said, I just wanted to see how it would be using <laughs> a concealer rather than using a foundation because I feel like concealers are way more lightweight. I think really what the whole thing is that blending is key. Okay, so that's not that bad. Y'all see that? That's not that bad. I just feel like blending is key with concealers, with, well honestly with any makeup application, blending is key. Mm, I don't think I've really known any concealers to oxidize either, so this will also be a true test to see about everything. Like this doesn't look crazy bad to me, like it, it's actually pretty good. I still feel like it's not cakey, it's not heavy so far so good let me blend that out too um yeah so we might have something going on since we might actually have a new thing i'm saying new and it's probably not even new but it's new to me so that's what we gonna say it's getting into my baby hairs but that's okay all right so now that i have that on there y'all know the next part it's kind of weird because now that it's on here, I have to set my whole face first of all. So I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup Banana Setting Powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my face. First of all, I'm going to take this off my hand so that way I'm not making a huge mess. I would normally use my powder puff, but I don't really feel like it because I can't find it right now anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pour some into here. 
which okay so I can't really set my whole face because I still have to brighten my under eye but I'm gonna set everything around it like this like I said I'm using the banana setting powder by Revolution Makeup and I'm just gonna set everywhere around where else I'm gonna put my uh concealer at um no, I'm gonna put some shoe. I'm gonna put a little on my forehead. Um, on my eyes, I'm not gonna do it yet because I still have to go in with my concealer. And I'm just gonna blend that up with too. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the concealer now. So actually, I'm just gonna go back in with the Elf Hydro Camo Camo Hydro. Y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> concealer. And I'm only gonna put like one small dot here one there because as y'all know this one is very bright for me and I think I'm gonna put one right there one right there this stuff also dries really quickly so you gotta you actually with this one you gotta blend fairly quickly so now I'm gonna put that right there and like that and I'm just gonna blend whatever else is out like right there up and down here so I don't want too much I don't want it to look too crazy this is a full glam look but I don't want it to look like like I said crazy put some on my cute stuff and then I'm gonna go in with um, this one's chestnut and I'm gonna use this as my contour shade I'm honestly running out and I need to go to the store and get some more All right, so now I'm just gonna blend everything out as far as my concealer. Well, it's all concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna brighten up my under eye now. I had just cleaned my brushes, so it's like some leftover like oils on here. I use the It Cosmetics um, brush bath. And I was a little worried because sometimes when I use it, the oils in there doesn't completely dry. Granted, it's probably just me because I'm rushing and I don't really let them completely dry, which I probably should do looks like it's separating at least on my end it looks like it's separating but to y'all it probably doesn't let's hope to y'all it doesn't but like i said i'm just gonna blend this out now bring some in on my lid just so everything is matching and cohesive i normally start out with the edges but <clears throat> i just went ahead and pressed everything in because i wanted to get as much product what i need to get um and put it where i need to put it but don't worry because we're gonna go back in with that foundation brush that has the concealer on it anyway the the base shade of concealer on it anyway. Okay, so I am going to put like a little bit more because I can still see like a little bit of separation under my eye right here and I don't want that so I'm just going to put a little bit more right there. Okay, so boom, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go back in with this foundation brush. I'm just gonna pat everything in and blend out the edges so that nothing is harsh. All right, so boom. So now that I have that on here, I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna, ew, there's concealer on me. Oh, that's why. This is why I said I was gonna clean up my mess. Um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set my eyes now with that same banana setting powder. And I'm just gonna press that in. So like I said, it's actually really, really lightweight. Um, you all know blending is key, so that's the biggest thing. I definitely feel like if you don't wanna use foundation or you feel like foundation is really heavy for your skin i will opt into using the concealer for sure y'all know that there's concealers out there that have your exact shade okay i can see a little bit of separation that's the only thing so i would say this though um make sure your concealer is full coverage obviously just so you won't have the separating i'm an oily girl so i have to like overset my makeup and i feel like with using concealer you see that with using concealer I really have to either use a heavy hand or find a, a full coverage one but then I really with my powders with setting I really have to 
overset everything. So that's okay. So now I'm gonna go in and set some more with my uh, matte poreless right here. This one is sun beige. I'm just gonna put that over. All right, so now it's time for the contour portion. So this one's gonna be a little bit wonky too. Um, I'm gonna just, it looks like it kind of dried up on me a little bit. It's not too bad. Um, the shade that I chose, I think it was chestnut. I definitely feel like, no, it's doing justice. It's not too light. It's definitely a good shade. It's just with blending concealers out, you let it sit too long and it's gonna get dried up and then it's gonna be hard to blend out. I have a dewy setting spray to bring it back to life and I also have a facial mist, but I'll be all right. I don't normally drag like this. When I'm doing my uh, application, y'all know that I like to press everything in, but like I said, it's dry, so I kind of have to be rough with myself. I'm blending this out here. See, like I'm taking off makeup right there when I do that. I don't like that. That's the only thing now what I'm seeing with this concealer is that you have to blend literally everything at once. You can't let anything sit whatsoever. Otherwise, you're gonna have harsh lines. Okay, so, because I almost forgot my on eyes. Like my nose contour looks a little harsh, but let's hope that when I add the powder, I can soften it up and blend it out with some more. Now I'm actually gonna go in with a liquid blush. This one is, uh, I got this as a PR package from Pixie Beauty. Um, this one is Louise Rowe. It is her cream lip blush. So you can honestly use it for your lips or blush, but in this case, I'm gonna use it for blush. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this one. Y'all can see that. Don't worry, like I said, everything that we put on here that is liquid, of course, you know, we're gonna set it with another powder. Yeah, honestly, let me go ahead and do my eyeliner real quick too. So now I'm gonna go in and set this concealer. Y'all see the palette, I don't need to explain it. I feel like this is actually coming out really, really cute. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my nose now. Let's hope that this can soften it up. Okay, I'm trying to buff this out because that's Y'all see that? I normally go in with a bronzer and I probably should have did that, but that's okay. All you need to do is take your foundation brush and go back over it. Soften it up. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. Same thing with the powder and I'm just gonna set that nose area so that way I can like take it in some so it's not harsh and weird looking. And I don't normally bake, but in this case, I'm going to just for my nose. My nose is the one place that it gets oily stupid fast. All right, boom. So now that that's done, blush. I actually like the way this look of blush came out. I don't normally use it, but I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, oh, I chose the wrong palette. This one's a little bit too dark for my complexion. I normally use Juvia's Place, but I'm gonna use Hip Dot. And I'm gonna mix these two because they kind of have a shimmer in it too. So it's kind of like a highlighter and a blush in one. So this isn't bad. This is not bad. I'm actually filling up. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. So now for the nose. Not for the nose. Um, actually, I can go ahead and do that on the nose too. I normally use my uh, pigment, but I'm using it in this case. Okay, 
I normally don't care to use highlighters anymore because sometimes they can be a bit ashy. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on off camera and then we're gonna go into the lips. All right, lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dust this powder off my face now, but I'm gonna go in with sun beige just to dust it away. Like I said, it's a little bit of separation going on, but unless you're like up on my face, you really can't tell. However, I am a makeup artist, so I can, but this is good. All right, cool beans. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna take my other brushes is cleaning. I'm just making more and more brushes for me to clean. And I'm gonna sweep that under my cheek. And voila, we have that. Now it's time for the lips, so. Boom, should I put black liner on underneath? Or y'all feeling this? I kinda like this, cause I feel like it makes my eyes look bright. So y'all know I have my set lip that I use by Journey B Beauty, and it's called Nudes. But since this is a strictly concealer look, I'm gonna go in with concealer, oh my gosh, for my lip. I'm gonna go in with chestnut, and then I'm gonna outline my lip with that. So it's definitely giving like the perfect nude lip. Like it kind of looks like I'm just extending my lip out a little bit more. So I might have to go in with a darker concealer shade. Yeah, cause this looks like I'm essentially giving myself lip fillers. Cute. This is cute. Okay, so I'm I'm kind of liking this. Hold on, I know I'm late to the party, but so y'all know I always use like NYX. We all use NYX, but this is actually a bomb lip liner, and I definitely feel like with using this, it'll definitely make your makeup last a lot longer. Um. I feel like that's a bit bright. This is a more peachier one here. I'm gonna go on with natural instead of porcelain because I feel like that's too bright. Yeah, so I'm gonna go on with natural. That is a cute color. I don't mind it. Let me actually go in with, this one's warm honey. I'm going with warm honey just around it too. I like this. I'm trying to see if I, I want to leave it matte or not. Probably not because I know I'm a, I'm a gloss girl, but I kind of like this matte look. Okay, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna have this one and then I'm gonna put gloss on. Y'all let me know in the comments which one y'all like the most. So I'm gonna set this actually. Okay. So, boom. We have this one without any gloss. This. This is just the uh, 24 karat rose gold oil by Kiss. I think I want to use it once because I have another one by Ruby Kiss Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken, that I use faithfully. Um, see, I'm a gloss girl for a reason because this is already key. Key is if you want your lip gloss to last all day, don't bring it all the way in, just outline your lips with it. Because if you notice when you eat anyway, it all gets pushed out in that direction. So only just line that out part of your lips. I'm a gloss girl, so you know I'm always gonna use gloss. This is cute. I feel like I did the damn thing. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys, you saw, dang, I said you guys like 60 million times just then. <laughs> but you guys saw the look with just the matte lip, and then now you've seen it with gloss. I feel like this is definitely like the go-to route for my girls that don't want to feel like they're wearing makeup because I really don't feel like I'm wearing it. Aside from my lips, obviously, and clearly you could tell that I am, but I don't feel like I'm wearing any makeup. I definitely feel like it's lightweight. I definitely feel like I got full coverage out of it. Um, it's weird because I feel like I found a new makeup routine and I wasn't even trying to, but this is actually really, 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 really good. And I really, really like it. Um, like I said, I'm an oily girl. So the only thing I have to deal with is like the separating. 
under here so i would have to in my case honestly i really think it was just because with my brush i had just used the brush bath and i feel like it was still some oils on there which was causing it to separate and then also i normally let my concealer sit um under my eye and i didn't do that this time um but other than that i definitely feel like this is a go-to routine for my girls that feel like foundation is too cakey foundation is too expensive foundation is just too much or your skin is too sensitive to the foundation i definitely feel like concealer is the route so don't forget though when you're finding your concealer you can instead of doing what i did in mixing a shade you can always go find your exact shade in a concealer too and use that and then i still recommend going one shade Actually, if you want a bright under eye, get like one and two shades lighter. And then for your contour, get maybe like, I'll say two shades darker um, than your skin tone. And definitely use those like how you would normally apply your foundation and stuff. But I definitely feel like this is a cute look. I have a new lippy now. Um, that doesn't mean I'm going to retire my Journey Beauty lip because that's my girl. Um, but this lip is mad cute. I'm definitely going to incorporate this when I start doing like my clients again. Um, I said again like I stopped. Um, I'm going to use it on my clients because I definitely feel like this is a, a nice look. And I definitely feel like my lip will last a lot longer. Because sometimes you know pencils get a little bit lost. But this is cute. yeah but that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you did didn't like what you want to see more of in the comments down below um like you guys have been doing i promise i will deliver those for you thank you for tuning in with your girl imani make sure you subscribe like comment do all the works and i will see you next time